Hello everyone. Well, today I had the great opportunity to see one of the last films completed before the passing of Philip Seymour Hoffman. Of course, he does have a few more movies that are coming out within the next couple years thanks to The Hunger Games, his part in The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 1 and 2. But uh, this is one of the last films he completed before he died. The film is called God's Pocket. Um, I loved Phil Philip Seymour Hoffman as an actor and as a performer. I didn't really know him personally, of course, but his death is just so tragic and it breaks my heart just thinking about it right now. I think most people really appreciated him for his talents, even though they may not have loved all of his films or really had a love for film in general. They may have saw one of his amazing performances because he was in so many incredible films over the course of his career and I think uh, if you talk to anybody they'll have some sort of film that really means a lot to him that starred Philip Seymour Hoffman. For me you know of course it's Capote, I love The Big Lebowski, I love Boogie Nights, Doubt, many many others and I'm really looking forward to seeing him of course in The Hunger Games. I really liked his performance in The Hunger Games you know, before I start my review, I just asked the question in the comment box below. Let me know what performance that you enjoyed from actor Philip Seymour Hoffman. Well, in this new movie called God's Pocket, which of course stars him, John Turturro, Richard Jenkins, Christina Hedricks, and it's actually directed by an actor. This is his directorial debut. His name is John Satterley, I think it is. I believe so. Uh, most people I know, might know him from the very successful AMC TV show, Mad Men, which he still is on. This is the first time I believe he's directed a feature film, though he has done some television in the past. I really like him as an actor, and he's one of the, you know, awesome parts of the show Mad Men even though I'm glad that show is coming to a close it needs to end it needs to end it's been great but it, let's let's move on let's create new shows and let's just enjoy it as it comes to a close I think it's coming to a close next year well anyways back to God's Pocket this movie is based on a novel and tells the story of a family who live in a small neighborhood I believe in Philadelphia I noticed that the cop cars say Philadelphia on the cop cars. I got a sense that this is centered in the 1970s, though I could be wrong on that. It never really makes it clear what decade this is centered in, but I'm going to say the 1970s. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, anyways, it revolves around a family. We get to meet them at a funeral, and then it rewinds three days earlier where we get to find out what led up to that funeral. Philip Seymour Hoffman is married, his character is married to Christina Hedricks and she has a son who who just passed away and if that's what the funeral is for. He is a small town crook who has a partner played by John Turturro. And then while watching the movie you learn what leads up to this funeral. And that's all I'm going to say about the film. Well, God's Pocket again is directed by a, uh, a first time director and all I have to say is, if this is your first film, man, John, congratulations. You have made an exceptional film. It looks great. You seem like you do have a good friendship and relationship with your director of photography. The movie looks gorgeous. The acting is really cool. I wasn't aware of this story that much because I remember seeing the trailer but not really paying attention to it. For some reason I didn't pay attention. I was just more interested to see this movie knowing that it would be one of the last films by Philip Seymour Hoffman. That was my main excitement for the film. So going to this movie I didn't know what to expect and what I got was a lot of really cool twists and turns. I'm going to move this. There you go. There you go. A lot of great twists and turns. The movie is very violent, very shocking, very sad very disturbing. I didn't expect it. I, there was moments in the film, throughout the film, where I grabbed the edge of my seat <laughs> and in shock and amazement. I'm glad I didn't expect what I was going to get going to this film. It was very telling. It felt very real, very intimate, and very scary at the same time. I really enjoyed these characters. I felt the characters were thought out very, very well. I'd be really curious to hear this book because the movie seems like it comes from the perspective of a reporter played by Richard Jenkins. So I'm guessing maybe the book, I haven't read the book and I don't really know, but this is my guess that the book comes from the, the perspective of the reporter. That's just a guess. As he tells about this small little neighborhood called God's Pocket, which I assume is a real place. That's why I just assume that's a real place. If, I'm, if, I, if I got that wrong, I apologize, but I just assume. Even though this movie is not based on a true story, though it's probably based on something. 
but it's just told very well. Again, the acting by everybody involved is really, really awesome. They all seem to get share a good amount of time, even though the majority of this film is centered on Philip Seymour Hoffman. There's a lot of weird things that happen in this movie, especially when Richard Jenkins' character as a reporter starts falling in love with Christina Hedrick's character. That was some there was some odd stuff going on there. I don't know how true that is to the novel. As a as a, as a movie plot point. It felt a little out of place. I didn't really believe that. You know, she's distraught over the, the death of her son, and at the same time, she's fallen in love with this guy that's not her husband. I don't know. I mean, she's got a weird relationship with her husband in this film as well. Or the character who plays her husband, Philip Seymour Hoffman, the actor. Duh. <laughs> But as a movie, it's really, really well made. This is a really well made film. It's worth checking out if you can find it in a local theater. This is the only theater behind me that I know that it's playing in my area. It's probably on demand right now, on the internet somehow. And I highly recommend you check it out. Whether this was one of the last films of Philip Seymour Hoffman or not, it's still a really great film. It's definitely one to see, especially if you love the films of Philip Seymour Hoffman. I highly recommend it again. Please go check it out, support God's Pocket, and hopefully after Mad Men is done, John Satterley will continue to direct more films because I think he did an exceptional job. So for that, I'm going to give God's Pocket a solid three and a half stars out of four. I'm Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and on Facebook. And please go to WeLiftFilm.com. Subscribe right here on YouTube to we Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePilot.com and if you enjoyed this video review, please click right here and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. In the comment box below, let me know what was your favorite performance by Philip Seymour Hoffman. I'd be really interested to see. And comment below. And if you've seen this film, let me know what you thought about it as well. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day and peace be with you, my friends.